So today um, we are going to show you how to replace the adjuster racks on the top rack of a Whirlpool dishwasher. So when I say adjuster, I'm talking about these wheels right here. So um, Whirlpool no longer sells these, they break and the wheels fall off. So they've upgraded this kit and this whole kit right here is called an adjuster because you can raise and lower these wheels. So we are going to, when you buy the new kit, it comes with, instead of plastic, it's metal. And so because of that, it does both sides at the same time. So that's mm -hmm. what we're gonna do is show you how to do this. So we already have our adjuster kit. And it comes with two of everything. So here is that new roller I was talking about in metal. So we're gonna get two of those. And then a little baggie of parts that again has two of everything. So this is what we're gonna do. All right, Colleen, I'm gonna have to bring that rack in. And if you'll notice, in case you get mixed up, this is at the back of the rack. So this is the rack that, this is the back of the rack that goes into the dishwasher. Because all of this is getting replaced, you do not need to be gentle in removing the old stuff. I just like to bust it apart. It's yeah. the easiest. So we're gonna kind of turn it this way and do it side by side really fast just to show you how you just kind of. So there's two grooves along the top that your screwdriver will fit into to kind of pull that out. Colleen is really aggressive. It's a great stress relief, guys. And the thing is, is this plastic gets so brittle because of the soap and everything in your dishwasher that it's it breaks really easily. One of the few things I can actually break. So you, you just gotta enjoy the things you can break in life. Okay, so that is how you remove all the old stuff. You don't need any of it. Yeah, so just take it all and hook it in the garbage. And this is why paying attention. Once those are off, a lot of people are like, oh, uh, I don't know where the new one goes. And this kit used to come with instructions, but it doesn't anymore. So now we have the back of the rack. Mm -hmm. And then right here, you're going to count one, two, three, four. And in the fourth one, that is where this piece fits like that. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Okay. And then in our little bag are... Hang on. You're gonna cut it open nicely. Tear it there apart. Go. Okay. So you have these little pieces. Has a little tab here. The little piece above the wheels is gonna push in here and click into that tab. So you're gonna slide this up. And then this piece sandwiches in there slides in and clicks. Oh. <laughs> Colleen's <laughs> got extra butter fingers today. She's dropped a lot of stuff today. I bought her a keyboard for her computer specifically that is um, completely washable because she spills her cup of coffee a lot. I wanted to say once a week, but at least once every So I bought her week. her keyboard just so that we can like fully wash it. Okay, because it's often enough that, yeah, it's, there we go, in, and then snapped. It's much easier not okay. on camera. So once those are in, if, once those are snapped in, it's a lot easier to work with, so you have to do that first. Okay, and you take this nice piece, the big long piece. Yeah, slide. So this goes on the inside of the rack, and you're going to slide the metal piece right here that we just put in. Yeah. That was a terrible angle. Okay, well we got two to do, so that's going to sit like that. Okay, and then we'll do this side. Hopefully I can get it a better angle for you. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. So see how she's just putting it on the inside and that metal is sliding up. There's grooves in there. Levi. There you go. Snap it all the way in. That's gonna fit there. So there's a little cutout 
right here. Uh, let's see if you can see it right there. And then on the top, right here. So these, sorry, my here. And they correspond with, whoop, the rack. Okay. okay. And you're going to slip this piece in here. It has little levers. There's two of these, but the levers face inward. And so this is going to slip right in there. And then clip back. Okay, I'm putting the camera back. Okay. I'm going to do the other side. Same thing. Your thumb pieces are going to be towards the front of the rack where your so handle is. I'm going to turn is. this like this so you can see. So you got to raise yours up. Yep, catch those grooves. Perfect. And then this piece right here, this little piece is going to clip in down here. And then the screw holes are going to line up. And then if you press the thumb piece, it should raise. And then, you can see what Holly's doing. I'm just trying to repeat the same thing Colleen did on her side once it's snapped in. Now, there's two screws, stainless screws, to put in. And they do need to be stainless if you lose these and try to come up with something on your own because they will not rust in the dishwasher. So there is a reason for it. And each of these screws just goes right in the bottom of what we just snapped together here and here. They are Torx head, so the kit gives you a tiny little bit that is Torx on one side and Phillips on the other. So we actually are using some Phillips head screwdrivers so that you can see how this works. So you'll just put that bit that they offer into that screw, put it in and get your Phillips head and just here, screw that in. And you just do the four, two per side, and you'll be all done. A lot of these repairs I always um, there's a lot of people who just don't dare take these on because they've they're not used to it or familiar with it but these repairs aren't difficult as long as you have basic tools you can make it work okay perfect so now when you push this little thumb thing that raises and lowers like it should and it's all metal and reinforced Okay, thank you for watching and um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Chicks That Fix, the Chicks That Fix, and you can uh, kind of keep up on all of our repair videos. As we get them coming in, we'll get more out. So thank you for watching. Bye, guys.